because it was sort of a good route to take to get from coast to coast. And nowadays, about half of the ridgeway is gone. And all that's left is this little bit that we can get from down here, Avery, and all the way up into Cambridgeshire. And even, even there it is still quite windy, although it's a lot better here than if I stand up. If I stand up, it's, it's just solid wind up there. So I think I'll probably sleep here tonight. I've actually set up the, the sleeping mat and the mini mat here. But it's still only half five. I might, I don't know, I might get take some photos or something. I don't want to go to bed at half five. It's too early for that. Um, I brought a book with me, but it's going to be difficult to read with all the rain and everything. So I'll probably leave that until I'm in the bag and maybe dry and all the rest of it. So I think I'll go take photos, I've got my camera with me, and there's a trig point over to the north. I might set that up and try and get some photos of Swindon, because it's surprisingly picturesque actually. Uh, coming up here in the middle of the night, you can see all Swindon lit up in the distance. And that phrase doesn't sound like it should end with, and it looks really beautiful, but it does, it looks really pretty. So I'm thinking I'll get some photos. Maybe you'll see them in a minute. So windy and there's quite a lot of not quite rain, more like just just sort of drizzle going on. It's just literally sapping all the heat out of me. Um, I, I took some photos for a while, but the camera ran out of battery. Don't get cold either. So um, I'm thinking I'm probably going to bed down in Bristol really, really early. If nothing else, just to try and conserve some heat. Worked out why I was so cold. I I got soaking wet legs. On the way up here, I should have put my my um, waterproof trousers on, but I didn't. And so I just because of the just because of all, all the water in the air, it was literally just a fine drizzle. They got absolutely drenched. I hadn't noticed because of the thermal base layer underneath them. So when I got up here, I put my I put my waterproof trousers over them, but they they obviously hadn't dried out, and. I think that was the problem with all the wind and everything, it was just sapping all the body heat away. So, here I am in the bivvy bag anyway, and uh, like I say it's, it's fairly warm in here, but the wind is taking quite a lot of the heat out of here. So, 